Hello, I'm Rachel, and maybe you know my photos, or you know me in real life, or something, so you're watching this. Probably not a lot of people will even watch this, but whatever. Anyway, so this is a photography tutorial on how to photograph glasses and splashes. And, yeah, hopefully you learned something, I guess. It's a pretty simple thing. If you know anything about photography, you should be good. Okay, so first you need to gather all of your stuff together. You'll need a camera, of course. Um, a DSLR would be the best choice because it'll allow you to use full manual settings and an external flash. Um, I use a 50mm f1.8 lens, but any lens should be okay as long as it's not too wide or anything. But about mid-range focal length should be good. And then you'll need an external flash. Um, I use this really old one, but you hopefully have a newer one than I do. Um, I use a cord to connect it to my camera, but you might be able to use yours wirelessly. Um, I barely even know how to use my flash, but hopefully you know how to use yours better. <laughs> for this setup, I use two tripods, one for my camera and one for my flash. If you only have one tripod, you'll just have to hand, hand hold your flash, probably. Um, but yeah, having a tripod just makes it much easier to do do this kind of shoot. Then you'll need a, some kind of glass and some kind of liquid. I used a wine glass and water, but anything should be fine. Make sure your glass is clean and doesn't have any water spots. Make sure also that it doesn't have any like labels or anything. Those just get in the way and they'll just be like in silhouette anyway, so whatever. Um, and you'll need something to drop in it for splashes, but I'll talk about that more later. And you'll need some towels and napkins and stuff to keep everything dry. There's going to be water everywhere when you're doing the splashes, so yeah. Um, when you're taking the splashes, make sure your camera stays dry, especially the lens. Just check on that every so often. There are some optional things like construction paper and tape to make the background colorful or, you know, add some interest, I guess. Um, you can use a reflector to bring out some light in the front of the image if you want. You can use a macro lens or a close-up filter to, you know, have more macro photos if you want. Okay, so next you make sure the camera is on the right settings. So use ISO 100 or less. Um, I use about F9 or F10. But you can try a few different things and see what you like. Um, for shutter speed, I use 1 250th of a second. You can't use higher than that or there will be a black line across your image. And if you use lower than like f 200th of a second, then it's possibly going to be blurry and you don't want that. But you can just try a bunch of different settings and just figure out what you like. Okay, and then you set everything up. This is what my setup looks like with the flash underneath the table directly behind the glass and my camera connected to it with a cord. It's a pretty simple setup. Uh, here's a picture of, or you know, like a close-up picture of the flash. Just make sure it's pointed up directly at the wall. And usually a white wall or a light colored wall would be the best because, I mean, I guess whatever you have would work. It would just be a different background color, I guess. And then you start shooting. Just focus on the glass and yeah, it should look something like this. And this photo is completely unedited and you can tell that it's kind of crooked. Stuff like that it's easy to fix in editing. Then you can try it with some construction paper. Just, you know, it'll take you a while to get into the correct spot. And then just take the photo like any of the other ones. And I usually don't use black construction paper because it just doesn't look good with the flash for some reason. But yeah, try it in different places and with different colors. Then you can start trying to do the splash photos. 
just put your towels down and get something to drop in there. I usually use some kind of small fruit, blueberries, cherries, strawberries, grapes. Um, for this shoe, I also used clementine slices. And then you'll also need a spoon to take it out of the glass easily. I use my finger to focus on so that it's focused like in the middle of the glass. Um, and then you can change it to manual focus. And then you can just start dropping stuff in there. It'll take a while for you to get the timing right and to get a good image. Just be patient. Um, every so often also make sure to wipe your glass down. It'll just make it look cleaner and better. And then you can add some more water to the glass too so the water level stays high and more water will be able to come out in the splash. Also make sure your photo is composed well. You might want to move your camera farther back so there's enough room for the splash. Like in this photo you can see how it's cut off. Eventually you'll get a photo that you like and if you want to edit it, it'll make it look a little better. So usually for a photo like this I make it black and white but I actually like the color in this one. So instead I added some saturation to bring out the colors. And I also added some contrast and sharpened it. And I edited out the dark kind of gray area in the background so it'd be white all in the background. And I also straightened it a little and I square cropped it to get rid of the negative space on the side. So this is what the final image looks like. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And you can go to my channel to find links to all of my other websites. Okay, thanks for watching this. Bye!